Hello everyone. Welcome back to Carmine from New York Teaches Photography. Everyone, I want to thank you for coming back to my channel. As you can tell by today's title, it's all about still life photography. This was one of the basic premises, the basic genre of photography that we had to learn in photography school in the 70s. You would not graduate unless you produced very high quality still life images. Now, the dictionary defines still life photography as a photograph of anything inanimate. Anything from fruit to, they even mentioned dead caucuses. Anything that doesn't move, basically. Now, it sounds simple, but it does require some imagination. Okay. Uh, before I forget, please subscribe. There's a little red box right over here. Uh, give me a thumbs up, please. Comment below and send me an email. Any photography question. Black and white photo at AOL.com. All right. So today, um, it's the winter time uh, outside here in New York City. It's been gray and just crappy. It's been really terrible out. So I went to the supermarket with the bride and uh, I got an idea while I was in the vegetable aisle, uh, as you can see from this photograph. Uh, the wife took that of me uh, as I was picking out today's props. Okay, so let's talk about today's props for our still life. Okay, uh, I picked up some of these. These are some uh, peppers. But what got me was look at these shapes. Very unusual. Just beautiful. So I picked up two of these. These were like a buck and a half. Then I picked up these tomatillos. Tomatillos, I, I'm, I'm destroying the word, but I have never even seen these before. Um, apparently you peel off this paper like skin and you boil it and you, you chop it up and it goes in chili and salsa. It adds a sour component. But I just loved the way that the tech it's all about texture, right? So I love the way the texture of these looked. So I picked up a few of these. Same thing, about a buck. The dollars worth of uh of those. And then I picked up a bag of these. These are really great peppers. Now, what's a better subject than something colorful, right? Something with a great shape. something with great texture. Okay, so let's point the camera down at the simple studio setup. Okay. This is the quote unquote simple studio setup. Okay, so here is one light. This is the Lytra LED light on a mini tripod. Of course, we have our vegetable, our still life prop, 
a little spray bottle of water to give it a little misty. Okay. If you don't have uh, an LED light, in my early days, I just used a torch to give some really nice lighting. Okay. This is a red uh, microfiber, quote, towel. It's like two feet by three feet. And I just have it clipped on top of my computer monitor. Okay. And the camera today, not even a macro lens. This is the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera. And the lens on it is a 45 millimeter Olympus lens. It's the 1.8 autofocus. No macro lens, no close up filters, just camera and lens. That's it. So, um, now, still life is one of the earliest types of uh, genre in the art world that there is. I'm going to show you these two paintings now, okay? Uh, one's by Van Gogh in 1888. This is his still life, very famous. And the next one is from 1613, Clara Peters. This is her still life, 1633. Okay. Now, I have over, I don't know, over a dozen or so photos that I took just today of these little guys. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the shape of this thing. That's what caught my eye. Believe, I didn't even go to the store looking for still life objects. I was just helping my wife push the cart. And look at this. I found these and just, well, let's take a look at the photos, okay? So simple, what were my settings? My settings were very, very simple. High ISO, very high, all right? Like 1600 on the ISO because my lighting wasn't this bright lighting that we have in here. Everything was off except for the Lytra LED light, which, which I didn't just keep in one spot. As I'm holding the camera with one hand, no tripod, by the way. As I'm holding the camera with one hand, I'm moving the light around to get different shadows on the still life, right? Hold it far away, bring it in close. You have to watch your highlights, right? Give it a spray, get some water droplets. I have a few uh, photos where I, I held the light behind it, get some nice backlighting, right? The same thing uh, with the skin on this Tamotillo, whatever, however you pronounce it, get some nice backlighting. It's just, okay, enough blinding you with that. It's it's absolutely endless, the things that you can photograph. But the reason I'm drawn to uh, these vegetables is because that's what I remember doing back in photography class. We, uh, we brought in vegetables up back then from my mother's house without her knowing about it. And we'd bring them in and photograph them and then bring them back. Uh, we used uh, flowers. We used... Um, of course, vegetables, veg peppers especially, because peppers come in so many different shapes. But
when you open them up and the seeds inside, I didn't do any seeds inside shots with these because my wife wants these back. Um, but the seeds inside, oh my goodness. Now, uh, why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this because here we are in the winter, even in the summer, right? If the weather is bad or too hot, right? You still want to take photographs. Photography never sleeps. Remember that. You go into the part of your house, right? Whether it's in your kitchen or your dining room, whatever, your pantry, and you just grab stuff. It doesn't have to be vegetables. It could be anything. I thought I... I have done still lifes on cutlery forks and spoons it's all about lighting and remember you don't need special lights this is just a torch as my friends in the uk call it we call it a flashlight right you dim the lights all the way down and you hold the camera right usually in your right hand and you just move the lighting around to get the perfect perfect shadows right high iso why high iso so you can use a high shutter speed so you can work without a tripod tripod all right guys i hope you enjoyed the photos i just want to spark your doldrums in photography that it's all around it's all around anything that's a still life okay let me tell you some secret some of the best still life pictures i ever took were just shadows winter shadows coming in and lighting up a bookcase. The picture just of the bookcase, I'm talking about you get nice and tight where you have a few books and the shadow coming in, right? The winter light, the winter sun coming in this way along the books right no flash available light handheld and then we do post processing if you're not using film post process it in black and white oh my goodness the textures on those books all right i've said enough get out there go take pictures this is what it's all about keep the fire going on your photography all right guys Get out there, take some pictures, go in your kitchen and grab a vegetable. And then after you photograph it, you could eat it. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.